issue of human trafficking can be easy to overlook because it's so far removed from the daily lives of most Americans. But as WMBD's Jacob Pecklow reports, it's the reason why Congressman Aaron Schock held a forum tonight in Normal discussing the issue that's becoming an epidemic. I want you guys to see this face and understand, yes, I was in slave for 18 months, but it is through the effort, two collaborative efforts why I'm sitting here today. Shamir McKenzie used to be a normal college student, an athlete. That was before an injury cut her track career short. Then the same man who swept her off her feet tortured her for 18 months. Why couldn't you go to the police? Because as human beings, it's hard for us to understand mental slavery. According to the U.S. Department of Justice, human trafficking brings in $9.5 billion every year in America and includes nearly 300,000 kids who are at risk of being sold for sex. It's a sad fact that there are more people enslaved today in the world than at any other point in human history, and uh, many of these people are, are being sex trafficked. It's a big business in the U.S. and difficult to stop. Uh, one might work out to be a viable investigation, and uh, even fewer than that end up going and uh, being presented for prosecution. On Tuesday, Congressman Aaron Schock hosted a forum at Illinois State University to discuss the problem that's become pervasive. A couple hours to Chicago, a couple hours to St. Louis, under three hours to Indianapolis, we're in an area where we'd be naive to think that the trafficking doesn't exist. Ten years and six psychologists later, Mackenzie is back at Loyola working on her degree. In normal, Jacob Peclo, WMBD 31 News. The DOJ says Chicagoland is one of the top 20 hotspots for teen prostitution.